Bonjour, today let's have a look at the verb rendre, which means to give back in five different tenses in French. Okay, let's have a look at the verb rendre. Ooh, rendre is a funny verb. It is a highly irregular verb and it means to give back. Though sometimes you, we use rendre in different idioms and you will find the list in the support guide. Okay, so let's try to conjugate rendre, to give back in the present tense. We want to say, I give back or I am giving back. Remember that in English, you can use the continuous tense. We can't in French, so we just say, I give back. We say, je rends, I give back. Tu rends, you give back. Il rend, he gives back. Elle rend, she gives back. On rend, one gives back. Nous rendons, we give back. Vous rendez, you give back. Ils rendent and elles rendent, they give back or they are giving back. Now have a look at the new form of rendre, nous rendons. That is going to be very useful when conjugate the same verb in the imperfect tense. I will to show you how in a minute. But first of all, let's have a look at the passé composé of the verb rendre. We want to say, I have given back. Okay. The most difficult thing here is given. Given is a past participle. And how do we do the past participle for rendre? Well, you've got to learn it by heart because it doesn't follow much of a pattern. For rendre, it is rendu. So, we want that past participle, but with it, we want the auxiliary verb to have in a present tense. So, I have given back. Now, remember that there is no back here because rendre means to give back. It's one old verb that means give back. So, we want to say, I have given back. J'ai rendu. Tu as rendu. You have given back. Il a rendu. He has given back. Elle a rendu, she has given back. On a rendu, one has given back. Nous avons rendu, we have given back. Vous avez rendu, you have given back. Ils and elles ont rendu, they have given back. Okay, so like I said, the difficulty here is to know what the past participle of that verb is. Okay, learn them by heart. For apprendre, it's appris. For prendre, it's pris. For boire, it's bu. For uh, rendre, it's rendu. You've got to learn them by heart. Let's have a look at the imperfect form here of that verb rendre. Remember what I said to you? Have a look at the new form of the present tense. Nous rendons. What you want is the stem of that verb, rendre. And then, because we are doing the imperfect, you add the special imperfect endings. And they are, je rendais, I was given back, or I used to give back. I was giving back, or I used to give back. Tu rendais, you used to give back, or you were giving back. Okay, remember that the imperfect is a funny, funny tense in English, as in it means to used to do something or, or, or was doing something. In French, it's one tense, imperfect. Il rendait, he was given back. Elle rendait, she was giving back. On rendait, we were giving back, or one was giving back. Nous rendions, have a look at that, rendions. We were giving back or we used to give back. It's the same. Vous rendiez. You used to give back. Il and elle rendait. Okay, they used to give back or they were giving back. It's the same. Now, the difficulty here is about finding the right stem of that verb because rendre is a highly irregular verb and to know by heart the ending of the imperfect tense that are always the same no matter which verb you use, by the way. So, if you learn them once, you learn them for all. Now, have a look at the future simple, the future simple, okay, of the verb rendre. So we want to say, I will give back. Now, the way you do that, you take the stem rendre, okay, and you add the special future tense ending. So, je rendrai, I will give back. Tu rendras, you will give back. Il, elle, on rendra, they are, they are conjugated always the same way. Okay, he will give back, she will give back, one will give back. Nous rendrons, 
we will give back. Vous rendrez, you will give back. Ils and elles rendront, they will give back. Now, if you are observant, <laughs> unlike me, uh, you will notice that the verb avoir in the present tense has the endings of the future tense. Uh, of the future tense, exactly. J'ai, tu as, il a, nous avons, and so on. Vous avez, ils ont. These endings are the endings of the, uh, the future tense. Do you see that? Can you see the pattern? Okay, so that's another way for you to be able to learn the future tense. You think, well, I know how to do the endings, but what is the stem? The stem will be the most difficult thing here. It's not about learning the endings of tenses. Let's have a look at the conditionnel présent, the present conditional. Now, we want to say, I would give back, but I can't. Okay, I would give back. The way you do that, you take the same stem as the future, rendre, and you add the imperfect endings, okay? So the endings, basically, we use for the imperfects are exactly the same as the conditional, except that the stem is different. And that's where the difference is. So, je rendrais, I would give back. Tu rendrais, you would give back. Il rendrait, elle rendrait, on rendrait, he will give back. He would give back, she would give back, one would give back. Nous rendrions, we would give back. Vous rendriez, you would give back, and il and elle rendrait, they would give back, okay? So you've got to understand here the different types of pattern that you can learn by heart to help you conjugate any verbs for that matter, okay? The third group, such as rendre, verbs, you know, are most difficult, the most difficult, but it's okay, just learn them. It's, it's cool, it's okay. Okay, that's it for me. Have a look at the support guide that comes with this lesson and tells you all about the different idioms using rendre uh, to give back, but it, it, it can mean something else as well, okay? And uh, support my channel, subscribe and leave a comment and have a look at Learn French with Alexa, the awesome website where you can be taught by me live. Yeah, live. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt, bisous bisous.